100 hours. That's how long it took me to paint the set of Frozen Junior. It was a lot of fun. I got started with a stained glass window for the middle and I needed to create a pattern for that and I tried not to make it so intricate that it was going to take forever um, but it still did. Um, as you can see I have a helper. One of my daughters was able to help me for a couple hours. So I think all said and done the stained glass window probably took about 18 hours total. Um, it ended up being maybe four layers of colors just to try to get that modeled look of glass and there are a couple things I would have done differently or I would do differently um, next time uh, but overall I'm happy with how it turned out I did end up adding a lot more contrast that you don't see in the time lapse but there's a picture of that later so yeah I had to mix up quite a few shades of each color just to get that brightness in there and then had to work on the frame and make it look like it was um, I guess maybe a wooden frame um, but it was gonna match other parts of the set and so just a nice creamy color with some dry brushing to give it some texture and then I ended up needing to line everything out with a mixture of black and gold as if it was the lead or whatever material it is that they use to join the glass for stained glass windows that was the most tedious um, you know just because you need to take your time to get straight lines but it made everything pop really well so that was good and there's a final picture of what it ended up looking like so we needed to have a thawed version of the set and a frozen version of the set. Um, so I didn't do a time lapse of these because, you know, it's just purple and green, but um, I needed to figure out how to get an icy texture. So I picked out some really yummy looking blues. I think, I think blue is probably my favorite color right now. I just enjoy any shade of blue. So, uh, just played around with moving it around on the paint and I ended up using a squeegee instead of a spatula and that was really cool. So all the panels that needed to be up there needed to flip like doors and it was basically a big puzzle. So I had to label everything because some of them needed to be double-sided and some of them were single-sided and I needed to keep track of everything matching. So that was an adventure. I had to take them in and out quite a few times because um, we share a space and there's a lot of other things going on. So as soon as I had the space available, I took advantage and spread out like crazy. Um, so you'll see my youngest daughter here in a second and she's actually helping me paint a few other things in the background, some other set pieces uh, while I prime this. And basically it's made so that the ice isn't completely covering everything, but it's kind of creeping out. Um, then I needed to work on a couple hanging tapestries. So pulled out the old hot glue gun, some gold trim, quick and easy. Didn't take much time at all and they turned out really great. So originally our set was going to have actual wooden panels. Well, the set was going to be completely different, but ended up we just didn't have time for that because of some other things that we were trying to get done. So I needed to create a lot of the texture that would have been there with actual, you know, one by fours and such. Um, I would have liked to have spent a lot more time getting them to look really three dimensional, but it took so much that I just had to kind of do the bare minimum. Um, like I said, a hundred hours. <laughs> so, uh, oh, some satisfying tape removal. Yes. Let's just enjoy this moment. It's 
there you go. Um, this actually ended up being, I think, a 14 hour day that I was at the theater working because I just really needed to get it done so that we could get the panels installed. <laughs> so here I am, uh, I don't know why I moved the panels to work on them, it, you know, extra work. Um, and then realizing that, oh, because I moved them to the spot and I dribbled some paint and some of the panels are double-sided. I got some blue paint on the other side that needed to stay purple. So lots of touch up, but that's okay. Live and learn. Uh, but the squeegee worked really great. It ended up creating this glazy look for the blue. I was a little bit stylized, not exactly like ice, but I really enjoyed it. So, and here I am touching up where everything is screwed in and hinged. Um, just touching up all the, you know, shiny bits so that they don't show up in the light. And let's see what else. Oh yeah, so of course I realized a couple of spots that I had missed. Um, so I thought, okay, well this is a good opportunity to give you a close up. So for each fake wooden panel, um, just used a highlight and then a mid-tone and then a darker tone. And just with the placement of those, that helped give it a little bit more dimension. I did have <laughs> quite a few people that would walk up and rub their hands to see if it was actual wood or not. So yay, that worked. But this is a lot of fun um, creating the fake texture. And what you really can't tell from this far away is that the inside lines, the that initial square that was in there is actually three different colors also. Um, so I think in total there were six shades of this color and here you'll see all the different colors it took and my little sample <laughs> so here's the thawed set and then we flip the doors and boom frozen so it was really cool it was actually part of the in the middle of a scene where the kids walk up and change the panel so that's cool here's some foam wooden beams that I just Put a dark layer on and then dry brushed the cream on to give it that aged look and then I needed to copy the same design onto the panels that were there so on both the thawed and the frozen. So here's just a quick overview of the thawed set. You can see the tapestries hanging. We also did a, my daughter did a photo of the actual actors that were playing the king and queen and she like photoshopped them to looking like an actual king and queen. So that was kind of fun. And there's our Joan of Arc picture off to the side. And I'm sorry, I didn't do a time lapse of the floor. It was really boring. It was just a uh, gray and a lighter gray on top of the black. Um, we just needed kind of a concrete, gravelly looking texture. So used one of those awesome sponge brushes. So that created all the texture and just rolled it on. And here's a couple close-ups of the door and that lock part uh, was painted on. Oh good, there's a close-up of the King Queen. And here's our awesome projections that were used in our fog machine. So it was a really fun show. Uh, the kids had a lot of fun with it. And we even had the trap door in the stage for the dress change. Um, yeah. Here's a couple shots of the kiddos. My youngest daughter is actually one of the kids in there. And our Elsa was awesome. And here you can see the amazing Olaf and Sven puppets that our set uh, designer uh, created. Movable parts and everything. So, yep. One final look. Thanks for watching, guys.